we have this uh, huge model that aggregates different signals from different models. So this would be just one model giving just a one single uh, signal. Because if you think about that, we have engineered this the same way that LLM um, are engineered, like ChatGPT and all other uh, large language models. We have a lot of experts, like the model that uh, take a look at the signature, the model that take a look at the portrait, the model that take a look at the font. And we aggregate all of that into one huge mixture of experts, which is the model that Paco is developing. And this is just an example to dig down on one of these single experts. But uh, to give you a huge overview or a um, um, bird view of what we are developing here, Paco, uh, how many signals, like flat signals, uh, does our model take into account? Yeah, like the yeah, 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 you're told, like right now we are in, uh, so Ross, like signals that we know exactly what they, what they are, it's around like a uh, hundred. So, and then like when we add uh, other signals that are coming from more sophisticated models, we are right at the thousands of signals that we can look at. So in total, it's yeah. like around 2,000 uh, signals that we look at and the model is aggregating together to, to decide what, what is fraudulent. Or... Exactly. That is quite interesting. So if you think about that, it's like having a human taking into account 2,000 signals for a single document each time a verification comes in. So, so that's, that's uh, mind blowing. So if we look under the hood and, and we just ask uh, one other model, hey, you are looking at the signatures. What, what are you looking there, right? Because AI is like a, a black box. Well, we can, we, we actually do a lot of things with signature. Signature is something that has been used for verifying identity or for um, giving compliance to a document for a long time in history. And we have several uh, measures to, to uh, fight signature fraud. But today we are just going to take a look uh, into one, which is uh, called uh, signature block listing. Why, why is that? So, so this all starts because we notice a pattern. As Lisi said before, uh, we have our fraud specialist team, which is people highly trained on documents, and they start to see different fraud trends, and they uh, tell us. And we saw that in our traffic, some signatures started to appear a lot of times in different documents in different parts of the globe. So we thought, hey, this is, this is really strange. And we started to, to see that these signatures were actually fraud. So this is, we thought, hey, let's build a solution around that. Let's try to isolate those kind of signatures. So every time that a signature like that comes in, we know it's fraud. So this is the solution we are going to, we are going to dive in today. So if you can, please click in. So one of the things that you could think is, how can an AI model tell if two signatures are the same? Because you, you take a signature and you have to compare with a signature that we know that is fraud. Well, for AI, that's uh, not trivial, but we have a thing which is called embedding. Embedding, explain plain in plain English, is just an array of floating numbers. So this AI is capable of, uh, you could say, compress an image a signature into an array of strings. And then with that array, you can actually compute a smart operation between them. For example, computing the similarity. Computing the similarity between images in mathematical foundation could be as simple as computing the cosine similarity between those two vectors. So forget about the math. What we really need to know is that that operation gives an output zero, meaning the two signatures are quite different, and one, meaning those, sign those signatures, images, are quite similar. So we can actually work with, with that. If you click, click. so what's how, how we have how have we engineered this to work? So we have a pool of known fraud signatures. We took them. We know what they look like. So we generated a bank of embeddings, meaning an embedding per each signature. So every time a new signature come into our traffic, we generate the embedding for this input signature, and then we compare it, the similarity, against all the signatures in our fraudulent bank. And we compute the similarity score of each one. And if the similarity is too high, then we say, hey, this signature is fake. Whereas if it is low, then we let it through. That's, that's how it works, mainly. But then you could 
thing. Okay, that's, uh, that's very nice. The, the model is giving you just uh, an output, right? A, a number. How would you trust? How would you trust this uh, model? Because Paco thought something very interesting before, like in our mixture of expert model, we actually have transparency of what feature or signal was the most important to reach to a decision. And that's um, critical for our customers because in the end, we are in the, we are in the business of trust. So how would we trust this uh, expert model? Well, by looking at what they are doing under the hood. If we take those embeddings and we compute the principal component al analysis, which is a, a standard operation in mathematical for vectors, we can see, and, and we plot them, we can see that for signatures that are fake, signatures that are similar, the principal component analysis is quite similar, which is the case on the left. Below, it's the, the signature we have in our block list, and above is the signature that comes in in our traffic. So if you see this strange pattern of, of uh, colors, that's what the PCR component look like. And if you see these two signatures are quite, quite similar, even though they, they are not specifically focused or specifically cropped. Whereas, if you see on the right hand side the legitimate signature, when a legitimate signature comes into our traffic, we compare it with our bank of um, fraudulent signatures, and we can see that the principal component analysis it's quite dissimilar. You can actually see that hey, the AI is focusing on the middle part because they both kind of have a middle part, but they lack the the, the duals on 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 above and and and, and below. So the principal component analysis actually do not doesn't match so that translates into a low similarity score that means that we we let the signature through our traffic 